Have you ever wanted to transform your home to no longer be reliant on gas heating? Today in Peebles, we meet a family that have done just that. Welcome to the Edinburgh Boiler Company YouTube channel. So as you'll see, there's no free roof space. We've got panels up wherever we can. And the big advantage of that is they'll just generate loads of power all the time to feed into their batteries, which we've installed, uh, into the new heat pump that's being installed, and also into their EV charger. Which a big system on almost due south facing roof is that for six, seven, eight months in the summer, they're gonna generate so much power that even once their batteries are full, they're gonna export a load of money back to the grid. The real benefit to these guys is rather than having increasing bills going forward, they're actually gonna have a revenue stream for those summer months. They're gonna be paid money by their electricity supplier. Here we have a Samsung air source heat pump unit, uh, which we've specifically chosen because of the area. It works to very low temperatures. We took into account the size of the property, the age of the property, the insulation factors, number of occupants, and we, we designed it with their requirements in mind. The air source heat pump has been set up in an open zone fashion so that uh, the house is working at its most efficient. It's working as one big zone. It's like one big radiator to heat the house. I know you're quite new to the, the area and the property, but if you could just give us a quick rundown of what it was like when you first came into it. It was a combi boiler with uh, an LPG tank under the garden. Um, and we had sort of a couple of issues. We had a gas leak. We kind of realized quite how expensive LPG is <laughs> uh, and how reliant you're on Cala to turn up with the, uh, with uh, the gas. Or what was the deciding factor that made you want to change to renewables? We were really aware of our impact on the planet and about climate change, so we were very key to our decision was making sure that we moved away from more unsustainable energy sources. Um, but also the cost factor came into it quite considerably. Um, mm. You really feel it when you have to buy a full tank of LPG at a time. Um, yeah. So having a way of powering our, our house in a more sustainable way that was more, uh, hopefully, more economic was a big benefit for us. Yeah, it was also about being sort of more uh, self-sustaining, being mm. able to sort of uh, yeah. look after ourselves. There are occasional power cuts around here and we're lucky that this system means that we'll be able to sort of power uh, our living room and sort of some of the key systems while if there were to be a power cut. So yeah, that was also very important mm -hmm. to us. Yeah. With all this renewable technology, you've accessed the, the Scottish Government grant available. How was that process? So we found out about the grants um, through some of our own research. For us, we live in a rural area, so there are extra grants we can get. And because we wanted solar and batteries, that added more together with joining it with the heat pump. So mm. really, it's been we couldn't really have done it without having those grants available. Um, yeah. I think it's maybe costing us about a grand up front, which is pretty amazing. There'll still be loans to pay off, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, it's, it's made it uh, achievable for us. What are you planning potentially next and what are you looking forward to most? Uh, I think we're looking forward to learning about how it all works mm. and tracking how much solar we're getting and thinking about what energy we're using at what time of day yeah. uh, to offset our costs. I mean, I, I know it'd be there's so many different things that it'd be trying to work out how to sort of maximise it. Um, and that'll be, that'll be really interesting, um, especially when you can sort of track the amount of solar you're, you're taking in, you can literally see how much money you're saving. Um, and we've got an EV and we've got an EV charger as part of the installation as well. Um, so that really works well for us. I mean, we'll be able to sort of charge from home and be able to track and save a lot of money by uh, charging from home rather than via the sort of grid. So here we have our best-selling combination, which is a Solus hybrid inverter. This is a six kilowatt, coupled with two pure drive five kilowatt batteries. This is by far our best-selling combination. Both of these brands are best in class for us. And one of the many USPs of the pure drive system is that the batteries are five kilowatt modules. So if this customer wants down the line, they could add a third, fourth, fifth battery if required. Many other battery firms out there are, are bigger batteries, but for a lot of customers, they might be paying for a battery bigger than they actually require. So this is very flexible and can be very tailored to individual customers' needs. We'll be back later in the winter to visit Abby and David's new solar battery and heat pump install. We're gonna be able to compare their new energy bills against in contrast to their much older LPG boiler. So don't forget to like and subscribe so you can keep up to date with part two.